Morning, Fraser. Going back for the second round of the uh, the church roof flashing. So, gonna head there this morning, meeting Doug and and uh, Craig and Gary again. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna do the opposite side. And uh, hopefully, now that we've got kind of a system down, it won't take us nearly as long. Let's hope. Say good morning, Fraser, before you go. Yep, another repeat. Repeat, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's the wall we're doing today. Just got to make sure I can get the, uh, drive the lift without it being up so high that I hit those things, right? So, shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I'm glad we've gotten to this point, because I've, I've thought this since I've known Doug, but Doug now just told me he needs help. So. I don't know where my pry bar is. Uh, fortunately, uh, not the pry bar, but the uh, like the oh. this, the nail puller. So, but Gary brought one. So we need to go check the. Uh, oh, it's the tin. The what? No. Under the shade? I probably. Uh, maybe, but it's probably in my. Uh, never thought of that actually. Thought it was. Where is the tin? Uh, it's over by the things over there. We can, uh... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Sure. Gary's in the shed. Okay. Woo! Alright, dude. Um, yeah. We are good to go. Good to start. This thing flops a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just flops a little. So this is what we deal with all this here. All right, I got it here. So we're on this side of the church now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get it up there and then we're gonna turn it off so we don't have all the noise and stuff, right? So Let's see what we can do. He's checking. You wanna do me a favor? Don't knock until you tried it, I'm just saying. Man's here. That's good for now to start. Where are my knife? You need to bring it? Oh, it better be here. It should be here. There's no reason why it wouldn't be here. I just forgot to... Is it in your pocket? It's in my pocket. It should be in the back of my truck. Darn it! I thought I had everything. I was looking at like, this, this, this. Silly, silly man. Silly, silly man. There's a lot to getting organized. Yeah. It's half. Or, getting organized and cleaning up is half the job. My primer. Where was the primer? Hey, buddy. Uh, so we're up here. We're ready to start. And uh, yeah, I forgot my laminate knife, which should be in the should be. Should be in the back of the truck. I'm surprised he didn't blame me. <laughs> yeah, Doug, <laughs> Doug rushed me. Doug rushed me. Thanks, man. You know what it looks like, right? Yeah, fishing was interesting yesterday. I was a complete gong show. Where were we at? We went over to Coho Point, because I don't go over to Coho very often, right? Um, Allie doesn't like speed, she doesn't like going far, and if the weather is, if it's not glass, 
she's not comfortable, right? Mm. So we, we need your big bar. This thing? Okay. That I have. Yes. That I remember. Which one were you talking about then? Oh the, the flat the bar. Little, the little oh, the blue uh, one. The blue one, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? That's the one. Yep. Thank you, nice sir. Nice throw. Very nice. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a little... Dumping it on the ground, you can clean it up afterwards. <laughs> you might have figured at me? No, I didn't, but I figured. <laughs> I know who you are. you have a whole bunch more basket over your way, right? I felt like I was missing. <laughs> I can hear you from there. <laughs> anyway, you're telling me about the fishing. Yes. Is this the bar you were looking for? No, no, the little black nail puller. Oh, we don't have the nail puller? We have a nail puller, we don't have mine. spoons till till last year. Uh -huh. But you don't know man. What were you using? Before I was usually using hoochies or, or anchovy strip. Okay. Not uh, uh you know scissors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey awesome. Oh yeah it was the uh, the, the we got two of those. It was actually the nail puller. I miss I misunderstood. Like the uh my small you know my black one that looks like your we got a little one here. Looks like that yeah, the the black one that I had. Black one. Yeah, so it might be it might be on the the tin, but it's probably at home, oh. right? So, but yeah, no, that's that's okay. Thanks, man. Hey, buddy. It, well, it, getting the first one off. Once we get the first one off, it'll go nice and smooth. Now that we know what we're doing, I haven't got a bit of a system to it. So, yeah. Uh. Yeah, how's it going? Ah, there you go. I had Craig put the uh, heaters down in there. They're just little wand heaters, right? So, they're down in the... Uh, what's that? You just plug them in and drop them in. Good. I, that's the baptismal tank. That one's probably bigger, I think. Like as far as the amount of water that you're going to use. Maybe not, I don't know. No worries. So swing over your case is already cocked. Okay. You're so picky.
last year, last year with uh, the Pope declaring a new Ten Commandments. Uh, that was that was like okay, that's that's just about it. That's just about it. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Uh, I want to swing the cage a little bit. Okay. And uh, uh, all this stuff, this stuff on here. So I'm concerned. Oh yeah, whatever. I, don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. So, uh, Polar, you uh, I'm not the only one who's like this. Do you want those two by fours painted too? No. No. I could claim that, but I'm just confused. <laughs> to some people some of the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm a good guy, but I'm not a good boy. Brats can't be good boys. Sometimes they Snips here too. I need them. Get in there. All right, Doug and I have been up here sweating and dying for days on end now. It's been, I don't know, it's been like 40 days and 40 nights. I'm not sure exactly, but. Better get the shovels out. <laughs> We're on the last piece, man. We're on the last piece. Done. As long as the machine starts, we 
we're not stuck up here upside down like those Let people in that game. Yeah. <laughs> you see those people that were stuck? Some uh, amusement park ride or something like this. They're all in a circle. And they go up, flipped upside down, and they were like that for like two hours or something. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That's the last one. Thank you, gentlemen. Awesome. All right. Ah, good job. Absolutely. Okay, so that's it, man. The side is done. So that should make it a little bit easier for the, uh, the roofers. I got jammed, but just saying. Hey Fraser, hope you had a good day today, bud. Uh, it was another work day for us. You getting the other side of the church done. Um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, I'm getting better at the machine. Almost done using the machine. <laughs> got a little bit of stuff to do for, for next week, but uh, with the machine, putting the fascia back up. But it was a good day. Uh, wasn't quite as hot today as what it was uh, the other day when we were doing it. A um, little cloudy, spit actually a little bit a couple times. A little bit, just a light, light rain. We got started a little late because Doug, it was raining when Doug was going to pick up the wood because uh, the 2 by 12 that we're going to use for the fascia needs to be primed and it was raining where Doug was storing it so he didn't bring it so he had to go back and get it because he didn't think we were going to be able to store it inside, but we're storing it inside now, so. Um, yeah, it was it was good. It was, uh, you know, again, we've been so messing around with each nail and stuff. Even when I started just kind of, you know, using the, the, um, the pry bar, you know, and trying to force it, you know, all the nails up and pop the nails kind of thing, we were still fighting with using the laminate cutter to, to cut the cut the uh, the shingles well about three quarters of the way through the end I think maybe halfway I don't know it was like huh. and I and I used the I don't know I just used the pry bar for something and it just ripped right through the shingles so I'm like well why aren't we just doing that so I started doing that and made that a little bit easier still is tough man the, whoever put that that uh, that roof on and I used a ton of nails and I asked Doug today I said this would be like a nail gun right he's like no it should all be done by hand and there was a bunch of them like a bunch of them 15 20 percent were you know bent over because they were only in halfway and then bent over kind of thing right so I don't know but it's done you know it was uh, it was a good workout for it was a good two days of workout for that right so it was uh, I don't want to do that again anytime soon <laughs> Hats off to the roofers, because uh, that's a tough job. And I wasn't even roofing. We were just taking off the flashing. I mean, it was still shingles, and it was torch on, and all that sort of stuff that, you know, was, was applied, right? So we are still dealing with a lot of stuff. But, man, your hands just, from, the, from the, the asphalt and stuff like that, the asphalt shingles, they just get trashed. They're sore, you know, because you're grabbing, you're ripping, and, you know, you, you know. You slide along the the, the asphalt, and of course you're, you're going. With, I start. I wore gloves today, actually, but you slide along the asphalt with no gloves on, and it's just, you know, your road rash at that point. So, but overall, it was good. It was a lot of fun working with Doug. You know, uh, he uh, he works. It's very much like working with me, working with him. You know, except, you know, I'm better looking. <laughs> It's a shame to say that when I don't think he watches these, right? So, you know, I don't even know if he owns a computer. But, uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's good. We give each other a hard time. And, uh, yeah, his work ethic is like mine. It's like, just let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. So, it's, uh, it, it worked out well. We work well together. Gary and Craig, you know, covered the, the downside. So what we do is we obviously take one off. And I think, I don't know if you can see that on the... On the camera or not but we we would remove one section because there's multiple sections of the of the flashing um and then we'd back up and take it down to them they'd take it and put it wherever they put it 
to get rid of it and then uh, we just go back up and do the next one kind of thing right so it, it was uh, we were done by noon today so it was it was a decent uh, it was a decent work day right uh, really only probably a couple hours by the time we actually got started because we didn't probably get started until about 9 30 something yeah two and a half hours or so but still I don't want to roof anymore I'm good <laughs> So it'll be interesting to watch. They're going to be putting on uh, metal roofing this week. So, you know, or taking all the roofing off. And then that was about it for the day, man. It wasn't uh, it wasn't an overly eventful day as far as getting stuff done. Spent a good deal a deal of time uh, still dealing with the, the fishing footage from from yesterday. Uh, lots of really cool stuff on on the video on the on the fish cameras. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll. Still working on getting it all together, and we'll see how that works out. So that's about it for the day. Oh, but let's do some reading. I'm getting very close to having that second, uh, second um, YouTube channel going. I've got it named. I've got it all set up. It's just a matter of posting videos on it. I've got two separate ones that I want to post on it now. So. I may look at the first ones again just to see because I, I think I'm getting a better feel for how to do that as far as, you know, putting it together for viewable content without putting you to sleep, you know. But, I mean, if you're not interested in fishing, it's going to put you to sleep anyway. But, still. Now this is our boast. This is still Paul. Now this is our boast. Our conscience testifies that we have conducted ourselves in the world and especially in our relations to you with integrity and godly sincerity. We have done so, relying not on worldly wisdom, but on God's grace. For we do not write to you anything you cannot read or understand. And I hope that, as you have understood us in part, you will come to understand fully that you can boast of us just as we will boast of you in the day of the Lord Jesus. Because I was confident of this, I wanted to visit you first so that we might benefit twice. I wanted to visit you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia. And then, to have you send me on my way to Judea. Was I fickle when I intended to do this? Or do I make my plans in a worldly manner? So that in the same breath I say both yes, yes, and no, no. But as surely as God is faithful, our message to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me and Silas and Timothy, was not yes and no. But in him, it, was, it has always been yes. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. I call God as my witness, and I stake my life on it, that it was in order to spare you that I did not return to Corinth. God's promises to all who follow Jesus are yes in Christ. They may not be yes in this lifetime, but they're yes. We get to spend an eternity with God, an eternity with Christ. No more pain, no more suffering, no more sickness, no more injury, no more illness. Same as sickness, and illness, sickness, anyway, redundant. No more crying. No more suffering. We get to spend an eternity in paradise with Christ. All we have to do is turn to Christ. Call on his name. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Love you, buddy. Miss you. God loves you very much. Look forward to seeing you. And I will post more tomorrow.